Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about camera bags and straps. More straps than camera bags, but with some camera bags. But more straps than camera bags. Carrying your cameras as a wedding photographer really has got to be thought out. You're going to be carrying your cameras with the lenses on around all day for eight, 10, 12, 14 hours, who knows? It's a long day, so you really do have to put some thought into how you're gonna keep your cameras with you. There's a massive difference between humping a camera and a lens around for an hour or two hours. If you go for a walk, say you're on holiday and you're carrying your camera for an hour, two hours, massive difference to the things you need available to you as a wedding photographer, especially a wedding photographer that carries two cameras. So you've got two cameras, a lens on each camera, and also spare lenses, not so much spare, alternative lenses, which you're gonna need throughout the day. This was actually the first bag I ever bought, Low Pro. I do believe it's the first one I ever bought. I might be wrong on that. It's the Low Pro and it's called the Top Loader Pro 70 AW2. This thing's brilliant. Just leave your camera in there. One lens though, so choose wisely. Normally, I'd use a 35 or a 50 if I'm just going out and about. Take the camera and that, slink it around my shoulder. It's got a little rain cover in it up here as well. See the little umbrella there? It's just up there. Reach in here. There's a little waterproof bit that goes over that. Love this, use it loads, still use it. I'm going out with the kids or I don't take it on holiday, really. Maybe I should actually, but definitely a great bag. Not for weddings, but nonetheless, cracking bag. The Top Loader Pro 70 AW. Great bag. Here's another little bag that I bought. This one's Manfrotto, decent sized bag. Oh, this one's Manfrotto. I don't think it's light enough for you to see in there really. But you get the idea, this one goes around here like that, bring it around. It's not really to carry a camera, although you can get like say maybe one camera in there with a very small lens. This one I bought to carry lenses while I had the cameras attached to me with straps and belts, which we'll get onto in a minute. Cracking little bag, I don't really use this one too much. Uh, it comes with loads of dividers, inside pockets, little Manfrotto number, but not really for weddings. I like it anyway, kept it, thumbs up. Now this one was the first ever strap that I bought, Black Rapid R Sport. This one for a single camera, kind of like goes over like that, you put your arm through there, like that it says, hopefully we've got that right, yep. And then you'd attach your camera to there, onto that. Black Rapid R Sport. Again, as I carry two cameras for weddings, I don't use this, but I kept it for if I, again, if I go for a walk with the kids or I go for a little photograph walk into the woods or down to the park or into Glasgow, I'll take this, definitely. The R Sport. This one I use for weddings for ages. Brilliant. It's like the whole fast money maker, but I got this one from Etsy, a leather craftsman on Etsy. Now these, obviously your cameras attach onto these at the end. These look really cool. I think that, I think the whole fast money maker kind of made everyone look really cool. So everyone, everyone bought into the, look how cool I am in my uh, pinky leather outfit. <laughs> That's what it looks like to be fair. And they do look really great, really great. Sling it over like this, wear it like that. There you go, look, camera's down there. Little look there on the back bit. How cool are you wearing that? Right, but the thing with this, as brilliant as it is, is when you crouch down to take a shot, or you're going close to the floor, or you've got kind of like a movement like this, everything starts swinging around. And I did have times where the cameras and the lenses clunked each other and they were hitting things in the floor a little bit and worried that it was my cameras and the lenses were going to hit the floor whilst wearing it so i did wear this for the longest time really enjoyed it but did really start to get concerned that i was going to smash my cameras with the swinging about and the hitting the floor thing so uh, I needed to look for something else, something that just took the worry out of my mind of smashing my cameras whilst I was working. And so I could walk faster without them swinging around, crouching down, etc., etc. So I went with a company called Spider who make belts with a plate and pin that go on your camera 
and then your cameras click into. While I was using DSLRs, I actually used this belt because it's quite heavy, the old DSLRs, and they go around your waist like this, kind of like that, one there, one there, I don't know if you can see that, like here, like around here, there, like that. I used the spider belt for a good while, and then I went to mirrorless, and found it was pretty much overkill. The plate and pin and everything was made for larger cameras, and I went to mirrorless, moved over to Sony, so I wanted to take it down just a little bit. It looked a little bit ridiculous with uh, the smaller cameras on the, uh, the big, uncool looking thing let's face it this thing's nowhere near as cool as the the black leather strap they look cool let's face it but uh, again going back to worrying about your cameras and clunking them around and hitting them on the floor so i looked into it and i came across the spider light which is a holster plate and pin system which goes onto your camera and then this is the holster that goes onto your belt. One thing I did find about uh, using a belt instead of a strap system was the fact that at the end of a wedding and the next day because you're taking the weight off your shoulders so it's constantly pushing down your shoulder you tend to get sore shoulders i know <laughs> diddums but when it's on a belt it kind of carries the weight nicely and it didn't like hurt my back or anything like that so that was an actual bonus for using the belt system as opposed to the straps so on looking into it a little bit further i still wanted the plate and pin system and the holster but I didn't want the big clunky belt that went with it. So I thought I'd just use the holsters on a normal leather belt. Now the normal leather belt worked fine until you started using heavier lenses. Once you started using heavier lenses, it kind of pulled down a little bit on the leather with a bit of sag there. Obviously that's why people used the one that came with the spider system because it could take that weight. But again, I didn't want the big clunky belt with the mirrorless system. So I had to put my thinking cap on and try and find a belt I could use with these excellent holsters. So what I thought I'd look for was a gun belt. Obviously guns weigh quite a lot. I'd say a gun weighs probably the same as a heavy lens and a mirrorless camera. I don't know. <laughs> so I did a hunt for the correct belt and came up with the 5.11 technical belt. Now this belt has what's called perma-stiff inserts all the way through it. So it's pretty much rigid. Not rigid, it's got a little bit of give in it, but perfect for the holsters it's actually a really good solution so you get the belt this belt again the 5.11 technical belt with perma stiff inserts so you've got your belt like this and this little holster clips onto the belt down and then there you go spider holster light for mirrorless systems onto a belt perfect and didn't even sag at all with some of my heavier lenses. So my perfect solution for mirrorless cameras for weddings was the 5.11 technical belt with perma-stiff inserts. I'll put a link to it in the description and the spider holster light with plates and pins for the cameras. There we go, a bit of a mishmash of a video of bags and straps that I use. I hope you can take something from this video. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like. If you wanna see what I get up to for my next video, subscribe maybe, entirely up to yourself. But until then, I'll see you on the next video.